getting you guys together. Let's give them a big old hand. Thank you guys. So without, without April and Jesse, we wouldn't be cooking tonight. We're real grateful that y'all had a party and had everybody come out. My name is Paula Dean and this is Emerald over here. <laughs> some of the things that we're gonna do for you guys this evening, we're gonna fix you guys some chicken, potatoes, pineapple upside down cake, coleslaw, and we might even show you a $10,000 set of cookware. How's that sound? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyhow, how many of you here this evening have ever heard of Salad Master? Oh, cool. So uh, we have been in business since 1945. Our company got started with this world famous little Salad Master machine. The cookware came in 1946, a year later. This was designed for a guy to use in his kitchen for his mama, of course, she was in the kitchen a lot. He designed this just to help her out. So um, we're gonna do a little demonstration on it this evening. I hope that each and every one of you will want one. The best part about it is it's free. So keep your money in your pocket. You can't buy it. We don't give it a, I mean, we don't sell it. We only give it away. We're gonna show how each and every one of you all can get this machine. Now, during the dinner party, I wanna say, do you know the best part about this? And you're gonna say what? It's free. free. Awesome, okay. So anyhow, um, let's just say if you were going to go out, Roger, and you were going to buy your lovely wife some cookware, and there was one down at Walmart or Kmart or Magic Mart on the shelf for about 30 bucks, and then there was one on the shelf for about 300 bucks, which one would you bring home? Probably the $30. I hear that quite a bit. So Roger, my job is to show you the difference between 30 and 300. Now, my next question to you is this. If you were going to buy tools for your garage and there was a set for about 30 bucks made in China or 300 bucks made in the USA, which one would you bring home? USA. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> so anyhow, we're gonna show you some differences in stainless steel tonight. We're using 316 surgical stainless steel uh, this evening that we're gonna cook for you guys. Now we're gonna fry, you guys, some chicken will be the first thing that we put on. Do we have any preachers in the house? Yeah. Awesome, so normally we refer to chicken as gospel bird. Y'all ever heard it called gospel bird? Yes. We call it gospel bird, Philip, because all preachers love chicken. You love chicken, Jesse? My belt's a I leather fence around the chicken graveyard. I got you. So anyhow, another thing we're going to talk about this evening is saving time, saving money, and saving on your health. Now this is a, talks about a kitchen investment. Any of you all built a house recently? Any of you ever built a house? Any of you ever remodeled a kitchen? Well, if you, when you build a house, what's the most expensive room in the house? The kitchen. The kitchen, because you spend thousands of dollars to put beautiful stainless steel refrigerators in, stove tops, oven, kitchen sink, dishwasher, beautiful granite countertops, unlimited money for beautiful cabinets, and we have found that people just have a nice refrigerator to keep their food cold. They have a stove top to heat their food up. And then of course they have cabinets to store their cookware in. So basically with Salad Master, we're gonna show you how this cookware will outlast every appliance you've got in your home. All of the refrigerators, washers, dryers, dishwashers, anything that you purchase those might give you three to five years as the life of them. Salad Master is a complete lifetime warranty. Your first investment, your last investment. Isn't that pretty cool? So it says the average household spend thousands of dollars on kitchen appliances and cabinets. What's the last and most important step in the cooking process? It's your cookware. And we go in people's homes all the time and they'll have just beautiful, gorgeous kitchens and then they will pull out a piece of cookware out of their cabinet that looks similar to this right here. Any of you ever seen cookware similar to this? All right, so we're gonna show you a little demo on that and show you a as well. The first thing that I'm gonna put on for you guys this evening is some gospel bird, and we're gonna talk a little bit about our world famous electric skillet. We got it preheated, matter of fact, I plugged it in as soon as we got here. We preheated it for about five minutes, but 
we can leave this electric skillet plugged up all day long. As long as there's no food in it, it could be 450 degrees, it ain't gonna tear up, it ain't gonna warp, nothing's gonna happen to it. So really, it's a, kinda indestructible. The only way you could actually tear it up is to maybe take a hammer or something like that. It does carry the lifetime warranty. This is our tie down cover. And if you'll listen real close, can y'all hear that? It's got silicon oil trapped beneath the heating core and the heating surface of the pan. And what that does is it gives it even heat across the bottom, up and down around the sides, so that your meats will fry evenly. Is that important to you? Awesome. So what we're gonna do for you guys this evening is we're gonna fry this big plate of chicken. And if you all were frying this big plate of chicken, Loretta, how much of this oil would you use to go in a 12 and a quarter inch skillet? At least half a can. Now this little can cost about three bucks. Matter of fact, I was at the Dollar General just a few days ago, it's 285, you put sales tax on it, it's only three bucks. So tonight we're gonna to show you guys how you can fix chicken no oil, no grease whatsoever. Now, what's some of the, why are some of the reasons people use this? Any of you? Keep it from sticking. Keep it from burning. Keep it from burning. Tastes good. Tastes good. So well, good. we're gonna let Philip take a big old bite <laughs> and let him tell you guys just how good it tastes. <laughs> so, let me ask you this, Philip. You got kids? Two. Two. If you came home, and your kids were watching TV, and they had Crisco, and they were eating it out of a can, what would you do? Break out. Break out. You'd say, don't you eat that. That stuff would kill you. I gotta have it for your chicken after a while. <laughs> <laughs> this just shows you. This has got 12 grams of fat in just a level tablespoon. Now, Loretta said that she would use at least half of it, right, Loretta? So half of it has got a million fat grams in a tablespoon, basically. So every now and then I have people, they say, oh, I don't use Crisco. I use olive oil. <laughs> Any of you use olive oil? How come? Healthier. Healthier. So let me ask you this. <laughs> have you ever looked on the side? of your nutritional facts just to see how many fat grams is in a level table of olive oil. Actually, it's 14. It's two more than Crisco. Can you believe that? So people has the concept that olive oil is better, but technically it's two, gr or two fat grams higher than your Crisco. So the best thing is we're gonna use zero tonight. Okay, with that impression, we can fry chicken with zero fat grams, zero calories. This is 110 calories per level tablespoon. So with Salad Master, it's zero. So throughout the year, the average person will use, most people we meet, they say, oh, I don't use a lot of that. But just a tablespoon equals to be about an ounce. And if you just use an ounce in Every day in six months, you've used a gallon and a half of oil in your family's diet. So you may have a family of two, you may have a family of four, but if you just use an ounce. Now you guys would probably agree, it'd be pretty hard to take just an ounce to even start to fry anything, an egg or anything, wouldn't you agree? So most people use a whole lot more of this than they really uh, realize if you break it down like that. So we're just gonna take this big, beautiful plate of chicken. We're just gonna drop it in on that scalding hot pan. Normally makes a loud noise. Then we're gonna crack the lid to brown the meat. We'll end up closing the lid to cook the meat, but first we wanna brown it. We're gonna leave that lid ajar for just about 12 to 14 minutes, okay? And so I need somebody to be a timer. Who wants to be my timer? Great, Ken. You give me about 12 to 14 minutes and we're going to flip that chicken. How's that sound? Sounds good. Now, with Salad Master, there's no pot watching. You don't have to take a spoon and stand over the pot pans and stir around and do all that. With Salad Master, it will let you know whenever it's time to come and turn it down. 
Matter of fact, when it gets hot, get a click, you come in, you turn it down below. So start on medium heat, let it click, turn it down below. Isn't that simple? It's designed for a 12 year old. That's why it takes two of us, eight and four over here. All right, so anyhow, next thing is, let me ask you this, um, April and Jesse, since you're my host and hostess, if I came in here tonight and I poured Crisco down your sink, would that upset you and April? Yes, indeed. How come? It clogged the sink up. Is a plumber pretty expensive or free? Very expensive. Very expensive. So what happens, Jesse, whenever people put this too much of this in their food and they eat too much of it, what do you think happens? I guess it's clogging our... Probably clogs yeah. them up. Would you agree? So anyhow, again, we don't have to use this with uh, Sally Master products. Now, if you wanted to deep fry your cookware, you can put all the oils that you would want to in there. It's not going to harm the cookware at all, but it will harm you, okay? So the next thing that I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about, this is, it says, We Change Lives, and it says, uh, Today's Menu, of course, chicken, potatoes, pineapple, upside down cake, corn, broccoli, carrots, and we're going to do a coleslaw for you guys. How cool is that? All without any oils, greases. This is just a heart healthy meal. Do we have anybody here tonight with high blood pressure? How about low blood pressure? How about no blood pressure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, fill up here, right? Anyways, this basically say, tells you how we got our name. And again, right back to this world famous salad master machine. I promise each one of you are going to want one of these free tonight because it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen to use in the kitchen. I mean, no kitchen is complete without it. We got a, another thing no kitchen is complete without, and that's our world famous electric skillet. Matter of fact, if Colonel Sanders had had our electric skillet, he would have been a general. So it's totally awesome for your meat. So not only is it great for meat, you can actually bake, grill, roast, broil, saute, fondue, stew, poach, stir fry, or braise, all in one pan. So whatever you buy off of infomercials, uh, Walmart, Kmart, everything you've got in your cabinet, this one pan will replace it. One pan will replace everything you've got. Can you believe that? So. This just basically shows our company. It says we are a worldwide distribution. We're made in the USA. How many of you all that's really important to, to buy product made in the USA? It is, isn't it? And then of course this tells you that it's a lifetime warranty and then our products are not sold in stores. So what our company does is, whenever you purchase a set of our cookware or even a piece, we register your product in your name. What that means is that ensures you get a full unlimited lifetime warranty with it. Now, you know, we're right here on Main Street with our office in London. You know, we've been here for 30 plus years and we often have people to drive by and they'll notice the sign and they'll come in and they'll be like, oh, I've had this for about 10 or 15 years and I've got something I need replaced. Or they may say, I, this was passed down from grandma or whoever, can you help me get this, that or the other? With our company, if you, if you are the original purchaser, our company backs it 100% guarantee. Now, if you pick up a piece at a yard sale, option sale, or anything like that, garage sale, estate sale, we can't guarantee that product. That's up to you to get handles, knobs, and all that for your sale. So, uh, anyhow, this just basically tells you that it says let's begin with nutrition do you believe what you eat and how you prepare your food can affect how you look how you feel how long you live when you all agree with that so for instance if you take people that try to eat healthier just you know trying to eliminate the oils and greases and things out of their diet they're going to feel much better than somebody that cooks with oil and grease would you agree with that so salad master offers you the solution to where you can actually cook every meal you wanted without oil or grease if you choose to do so. And the best thing about it is we offer free cooking schools at our office in London, Kentucky. As a registered customer, you're unlimited at how many times you can come. They're unlimited. So if you would love to come every single cooking school just to learn, and I mean, you're welcome to do that. We have people that are repeaters all the time. 
This just basically says to you, it says whose responsibility is it to take care of your health. What would y'all guess on that one? It's up to us, right? And it says, do you know anyone that suffers from heart disease? Any of you got that in your family, heart disease? How about high cholesterol? How about digestive problems? High blood pressure, obesity, cancer, diabetes, stroke. So everybody here probably knows someone that has been affected by one of those illnesses. This talks about maximizing nutrition with Sally Master. So the next thing that we're gonna put on for you guys, we're gonna do you all some vegetables. Now, if you all were doing three vegetables, how many pans would you normally use? Three. Three? Yeah. And how many uh, stove top burners would you use? Three. And how many pans you gotta wash? Three. And if you've got leftovers, how many bowls do you have to have? Three. Yeah. And how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, this just shows you that with our 11 inch skillet, now who has ever heard of putting vegetables in a skillet? If you all were cooking at home, you'd have three little pots, right? And you'd throw a vegetable and you'd run some water and all that. Matter of fact, you would probably use at least a glass of water in each pot. Well, tonight we're not gonna use a glass of water. We're only going to use about a tablespoon of water and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some frozen corn. This is just cheap Walmart frozen corn, great value. We're gonna do some frozen broccoli and we're gonna do some fresh carrots. And we have done pre-cut the carrots up and we're just gonna put them in the pan. And then do we have anybody here that don't like onions? Oh great, Roger and April. <laughs> so if you don't like onions, we're gonna put some onion slices on here, three, <laughs> just to show you that the onion won't go down into the corn, broccoli, carrots and get and just get it into the flavor of it basically. And so for instance, if we could do corn, broccoli, carrots, put onion on there and April, you don't like onion and neither do you, Roger, would that impress you if you didn't taste the flavor? Probably be impressed, wouldn't you? So the thing that I would love for you two to do is if you taste any onion at all into the corn broccoli carrots, I want you to tell everybody here, would you do that for me? Awesome. So we're gonna take two tablespoons of water and pour it over the carrots because those are fresh carrots. You know, they lose moisture from the time the farmer gets them to the market and the market gets it to the supermarket and the super, you buy them and then get them home. So just a little bit of moisture, just enough to kind of keep them a little damp and then when we'll put this on medium heat we'll let it click and we'll want to turn it down to low so medium click low is all you've got to know now we have detachable handles and um these detachable handles are designed for different reasons number one safety number two if you wanted to look in your cookware now you can lift your lid and you can just place it either way right or left-handed it doesn't matter at all and then of course if you prefer european style then you just use two little side helper handles and you've got a beautiful pan as well how cool is that and for instance if you're from the country and you are uh, from a really big family from my neck of the woods, you might could just pass it right around the table and everybody can just, you know, grab whatever they want out of there. So anyways, we're gonna put this on medium heat, let it click, turn it to low. How cool is that, guys, right? I mean, it's simple, it's easy, anybody can do it, designed for a 12 year old. Now, so we'll just set this right over here on our stove top, and whenever it clicks, Johnny, you just holler at me and we're gonna turn it to low. Is that good? All right, so the next thing you guys we're gonna do for you, we are going to fix you all uh, just a few vegetables. This is our little salad bowl. This is another free item we give away, and you'll probably want one of these as well. This is a three and a half quart bowl. It's a double wall, which means we can stick it in the freezer and freeze it and put like punch or lemonade or Kool-Aid. And on the other hand, we can stick it in the oven and get it hot. And we can put like uh, hot chocolate, hot apple cider, gravy, mashed potatoes, whatever. So the first thing we'll do, we're gonna take a carrot, 
and we're going to use cone number one our cones are labeled and then this is our little safety guard here that if you were worried about kind of moving your uh, messing with your fingers i don't know who put my safety guard <laughs> oh i got you okay anyways we're just going to take put this on here we're going to drop our carrot down in the back how beautiful is that any of you ever make carrot cake any of you got a cutting board and a knife and you chop all day long just for a few carrots for carrot cake look at this how pretty is those carrots zucchini bread any of you make the zucchini bread I mean, my goodness, this is the neatest thing since sliced bread. You can slice, dice, chop. Any of you ever do pizzas where you need grated cheese and things? Grate your cheese up on it. It will do every single thing that a knife and a cutting board will do. And we're just going to take that out. We're going to use cone number two. And we're going to put just a little bit of a radish in here. Just a little bit of radish. We're going to drop the radish down in the back and look how beautiful that radish is. It makes it a little thicker. So the lower the number, the thinner it cuts, the higher the number, the thicker it cuts. Does that make sense? And then another thing we're going to put in there is we're going to take a little bit of cabbage, stick it on here, and we're just going to cut up a little bit of cabbage. Oh, and James is telling me back here, he says, you need to put on your cake. So we're going to do you guys a beautiful dessert how many of you love pineapple upside down cake? Oh, time to turn the chicken. Well, before I do the chicken or the cake, Ken's telling me I need to turn the chicken. So what I'm going to do, who fries chicken a couple times a week? Oh, everybody, great. So any, all I want you to do, Johnny, is just come up, take this fork, flip that chicken over, every piece, how beautiful is that? No oils, no greases, none of the bad stuff. See, with Salad Master, we teach you how to cook a heart healthy meal without the bad stuff. With other cookware, you have to have the bad stuff to go in it. And we'll tell you a little bit about that. But look how beautiful this chicken is. Can you all smell that? Isn't that beautiful? Now, let's just say that Bill and Bob, one of you wanted chicken, one wanted a pork chop. You could put a pork chop on one side, chicken breast on the other side, brown them, flip them over if you wanted to. Now the next thing we're gonna put in there, where we come from, you can't have meat without? Taters. They're taters. Yeah, taters. T-A-T-E-R-S, taters. So we're gonna take some taters, and if you all were fixing taters, how much, Loretta, would you normally use in a skillet that large if you were frying? At least a half a can. So already we've spent three bucks just on one meal in oil. And a lot of times people say, well, I don't use that much oil. Well, they just really don't realize how much they do use. Because you can't fry taters without oil. Wouldn't you agree? And they can't fry chicken without oil. So we're just going to take this big bowl of taters and we're just going to pour them right on top of your meat. Now, it wouldn't matter if this was pork chop, uh, roast, pork tenderloin, any meats that you normally do, you can put your taters right on top. So that's kind of killing two birds with one stone, wouldn't you agree? Meat and taters all in one pan, as opposed to two different stove burners, two different pans, and all that. So we're just going to keep, we're going to flip the lid, put it on there, and we're going to leave it still on 450 degrees. And when steam comes roaring out the side, we're going to turn it down to 150. So Ken, in about 10 minutes, I want you to let me know when you see steam rolling out the side. Can you do that for me? All right. So back over here to our bowl, our, oh, James wants me to do the cake. I need to do that. So who loves pineapple upside down cake? Awesome. Well, Jesse and April said, Loretta, they said, my friend Loretta and Roger's coming to eat with us tonight, and they love pineapple upside down cake. And I said, that's what we're going to do. How's that? So anyhow, Loretta, normally I would reach you the box and let you read off the box, and I, it's got step one, step two, step three. We're using our nine-inch cake pan. We put, we buttered the pan all around the sides, across the bottom. We put our brown sugar, pineapples are flipped upside down, throw some cherries in there. How cool is that? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to use only a half a box of cake mix, okay? Now this is our oil core rack. This is designed to work in this electric skillet. So we're going to go right over here and Loretta is going to read us off the box where it says first you will need and it basically says you'll need a box or two eggs, I think some water, oil, and that's when I dump the half of a bag in this pan that's got cabbage, carrots, radish. And then people's like, oh, you didn't wash the bowl. And I said, well, Loretta didn't tell me to wash the bowl. I'm doing everything Loretta said. So anyhow, Loretta gets down and she says, beat it on medium speed. So we do medium speed. <laughs> then it'll say, beat on low speed. We'll do low speed. <laughs> and then she'll say, pour it in the pan. And we pour it in the pan. And it's all clumpy and yucky and not very pretty at all. So anyhow, I say, now how does that look to you guys? And of course the comments is, well, I've stirred it a little bit more. Or, that ain't the way I do it, that type thing. And that's just to get them to go, going. Now we're gonna take our oil core rack. We're gonna place it right in on top of our chicken and potatoes, right? Now we're gonna add a pineapple upside down cake. How cool is that? We're frying meat, we're doing vegetables, and we're baking the dessert all in one pan. Would that not save some time? How about some money? But forget the money, forget the time. Your health is the most important thing you got. And would you all agree, by not using a whole can of this for the chicken and the potatoes, which is three bucks, would eventually pay for this product. Matter of fact, how many of you all have been married at least three years? Yeah? Well, if you've been married for three years, you've already paid for this entire set of cookware. In oil, grease, high heat, the oven, just replacing your cookware frequently. If you've got anything similar to this right here, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Don't that make a lot of sense to you? So if you've been married for 10 years, you have already paid for three sets of this cookware and you don't have it in your home. See, you either have it in your home and you pay for it, or you buy and pay for it, you've got it forever. So either way, you're paying for it, and it's a whole lot nicer to have it in your home and pay for it than to not have it in your home. You guys agree with that? Now, the next thing that we're gonna do for you guys is really and truly, we're gonna cut you up a coleslaw. And we're gonna use our world famous salad master machine and we're just gonna cut up all the veggies that you see right here in our oval baking dish. And this oval baking dish is one of our hostess items as well. So all of the things that you see here, we give away absolutely free. Um, of course, we do sell these items as well, but not the machine. You can get them all free or you can purchase these two here, whichever. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut up cabbage. How many of you can do raise a garden, can food, any of you ever can crown? If you can crown this machine, just check this out. This is a quarter head of cabbage and you can just, I mean, you can cut it up so fast. Versus using one of those knuckle busters, y'all know what I'm talking about? They're shaped like a cowbell and you rake your knuckles up and down it and then you gotta count the band-aids before you get started each time because you're gonna scrape and those little crunchy things fill up in the bottom, they make bacon bits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So anyhow, that's number two. This is our number three bite. How many of you love french fries? Well, just take your potato. They're here from Kentucky, they're taters. And you just drop that in there and just run it right on through. And now you've got beautiful potatoes. So it's great for doing french fries. You can do potato chips. This is our next blade that I'll show you guys. Just a nice uh, cut for a potato chip. Give it one turn and you've got perfect chips. And rotate it over if you wanted to. And we even have a Ruffles Have Ridges blade. So we've got two potato chip blades. I don't carry the Ruffles Have Ridges with me. I do show that in cooking school. So you get all five cones, plus you get the machine. It will stick to any smooth surface. It's not great on porous surfaces like what you're seeing here, but it just clamps down to where you can just pull it and it stays stuck on a flat surface. 
Now, how many of you all could use one of these machines if you had one? Great, so we're gonna show you how each one of you can get one for free for your home. Anyhow, we're just gonna move that aside and then we're gonna go right back over here to our flip chart. And this just basically tells you, you know, we just put on the potatoes on top of the chicken. It says Salad Master's cooking technology maximizes nutrition and flavor. Any of you ever seen your mom or your grandma cook and the first thing she does when she starts to get the potatoes out is she'll get a knife, she'll peel out all the vitamins, minerals, all the goodness, she'll throw it down into the trash can, right? Well, with Salad Master, we cut all of that up and spread it on top of any type of uh, meats and you're keeping all the goodness in it. And it says, where does all the nutrition go whenever you have to use some water if you're cooking your food? You end up pouring it down the sink, wouldn't you agree? All the goodness goes down the sink. And then, of course, it talks about oxidation, light, and air. Any of you ever notice what color milk curtains are in today's town? They're discolored, aren't they? And that's to keep the light from penetrating into to destroy the vitamins in the milk. This talks about um, microwaving, fats and oils. With Salad Master, we basically eliminate every bit of that to do our meats or cook our veg vegetables. Then, of course, we are gonna do a carrot test for you guys. And it says, what's water got to do with it? This is our water. And we're just gonna take, I've got a couple plate, paper plates sitting here. Gonna take a carrot. We're gonna just shred this up real nice and thin on cone number one. And I'm gonna pass it around for you guys. So drop the carrot in, shred the whole carrot up. I'm gonna divide these off onto two plates. And the first plate I'm gonna pass around and what I want you all to do is just take you a pinch and eat it and just tell me what if it tastes like a carrot, okay? Because you're getting the full flavor of it. On the second plate that I'm going to uh, pass around, I'm gonna take the second plate, I'm gonna pour all them carrots in here, and we're just gonna get, is it Bill? Daryl. Daryl, Daryl. Stir them up, just like you're cooking on top of the stove. And so what Daryl's doing is he, he's over here cooking in water. And so Daryl has just cooked those carrots to death and look at the color of the water of that. So now what most people would do is they would probably drain it down the sink. Wouldn't you guys agree with that? Now, where does all the vitamins and minerals go whenever you drain it down the sink? Down the sink. How many of you drink coffee? Yep. Well, when you drink coffee or make your coffee in the morning, do you just go over to the sink and drain all the good coffee down the sink and you eat the grounds with your spoon? You don't do that, do you? So you actually reverse it. You drink the coffee and you're throwing the grounds away. Well, see, what we have found is when you're cooking out of cookware from the store, you're actually boiling your food in water and pouring all the goodness down the drain. Wouldn't you agree? Now, how many of you got babies? Oh, great. So, Kent, you and Ashley's got a small child, right? And let's just say this was milk in this little jar. And this was all the milk you had, and the baby's hungry and crying and going on. Would it be more nutrition wise to give it this milk or put a little bit of water in there to fill that bottle up? Just like it is, right? Because the water would dilute the flavor and the vitamins and nutrients. So it's best not to ever have to use water if you don't have to. Well, with Salad Master, we offer that you can cook very low minimum moisture. Isn't that pretty cool? So anyhow, that's your little, and I always keep this, and I use this on my callback whenever I go over here at my table that I've got set up. And this tells you if you're doing broccoli, carrots, and uh, potatoes, it shows you the retention value with all three of them equals out to be 93%, as opposed to draining all the goodness down the sink and throwing butter in your potatoes and adding all the extra fat and calories and things back in to it. This basically talks about Salad Master 316Ti. It's got the detachable handles on it, the wide dripless pouring edge, and of course, it's just a beautiful pan for stacking. And of course, Ken is waving at me that my vegetables is click, click, click. Do you all hear that clicking, you guys? 
see it takes you out of the kitchen basically. So whenever it clicks, all you do is just take it off the stove top. Would that not save some money? We're gonna turn that stove completely off, click. And now we've got, any of you know? just as you guys can see right here in the bottom right hand corner. Can you guys see that? And that's some more things that we do in cooking schools just to show you uh, the stacking method with our cookware as well. And people's like, well, why is that important? How many of you ever do big Sunday dinners? How about Thanksgiving dinners? Christmas dinners? Well, most people only have four stove burners, right? Well, if you can stack your cookware, if you get it hot, you stack it up, that frees up the stove burner every time you do a stack on it. Does that make a lot of sense to you? So again, it saves you time, it saves you money, and it just pays for itself. And then moving right along, this is my next page that I want to talk to you guys about. It says, studies show that Salad Master saves time, energy, and money. And of course, if you did a roast, it tells you that a beef roast the energy saving is 64%. And then if you do a lasagna, the energy saving is 86%. I ask people all the time, if you guys were fixing a roast, how long would it take you to cook it? At least two or three hours. Some people say, I cook it all day. I put it in a crock pot and I'll cook it for hours. So with Sally Master, we can cook it in 45 minutes to an hour for about a two and a half to a three pound roast. And it's just as tender as, it, as if you had cooked it all day. This talks about Salad Master's cooking uh, system. It protects your health by eliminating the oils and the fats in your all's diet. So again, the main thing is if you can eliminate this, it would probably help you in the long run. Wouldn't you guys agree? Well, I can tell you one thing for certain. I ain't never heard of nobody dying because they've not had enough of that in their system. But you hear of people all the time having heart attacks and things because they've had too much of that in their system. This basically shows you by eliminating oils and fats, fat and heart disease, fat causes plaque to build up around the artery wall. This is our little model and it just shows you number one that you see here. When you're a newborn, you come out and you've got good clean arteries. I mean, you've got more energy than you know what to do with. Well, number two is whenever you get introduced to a lot of fat in your diet or fast foods and you make that a way of living, plaque starts to build up around the artery wall. Well, number three is when you're just overdone it for years and years and years, it's just starting to get real thick and it restricts the blood flow from pushing through there. And do y'all know what number four is? You're lucky if you live to talk about that and that will cost you anywhere from $150,000 to $200,000. And you get a free helicopter ride. Well, I don't know that I'd call it free, but anyhow, you get a free ride uh, and a nice little gown that opens up the back that people just love. They want it for a souvenir. So with Sally Master, again, by eliminating this, it can help with this. So it just kind of goes hand in hand. And it says, why should you reduce the fat in your diet? Any of you know that? Why would you want to reduce the fat in your diet? Less chance of heart attack and stroke. And less chance of heart attack and stroke. That's really good. This tells you, according to Choices for a Healthy Heart by Joseph C. Pescatel, forwarded by Denton A. Cooley, a study found that one out of three children had a significant risk factor of heart attack by the age 14. Now, how many of you got kids? Any of you got kids around 14? Can you imagine a 14 year old having a significant risk factor of heart attack? Around 14. Now, if that should happen, whose fault would that be? Be the parents. Whose responsibility is it for your health? Goes right back to you. You're the doctor of your family. Whatever you feed them, they're gonna eat it regardless if it's a high fat menu or a low fat menu. They're gonna have to eat it one way or the other. This says also artery blockage greater than 50% was found in children as young as seven. 
seven year olds have an artery blockage greater than 50%. Whose fault? I mean, think about it. See, again, we're the doctor of the family. Whatever we feed them, if we run them through McDonald's every day and give them chicken McNuggets, that's probably what they're going to eat. If they're raised up to eat a low fat diet, that's probably what they're going to be used to as well. So it's totally up to you to make that choice. This says, whose responsibility is it for your children's health? And of course, it's not the children. We all agree with that, right? This basically tells you. It says food for life. If I went around the room, and I won't because there's too many, and I ask you guys what the number one cause of cancer, just shout out some things that you would think. Fast food. Smoke. All right. So asbestos, fast food, smoking. So basically it says estimated percentage of cancer due to selected factors. Diet related is the number one cause. Diet. You do it to yourself. Nobody else does it to you. You do it to yourself. Tobacco's 30%. So the number one answer I get is smoking. I mean, normally about 80 to 90% of hollers is smoking. It's really not. It's diet related that you're doing to yourself every single day. And then, of course, again, tobacco's only 30%. Air and water pollution is five. Alcohol is three. Radiation's three. Medicines is two. And it says, according to Neil Bernard, a plant-based diet is key in the cancer prevention. So don't that make a lot of sense? A plant-based diet is much healthier than a high-fat diet that can cause all of this to happen later on in life. And then it says it fights obesity. Now, how many of you guys, well, how old were you in 1980? Think about that. And sometimes I know some of my guests, they weren't even here in 1980, you know. So this says since 1980, obesity rates have more than doubled in adults, but they have tripled in children. Now, obesity rates tripling in children since 1980, again, whose fault would that go right back to? It goes back to the way we cook, the way we feed them, the way they eat. And then, of course, it says some diseases that have been linked to obesity are diabetes, heart disease, stroke, breast cancer, colon cancer. Any of you know people that's had any of these? Kidney failure, artery sclerosis, arthritis. And then, of course, this basically tells you, it says Salad Master makes cooking easy and convenient. Have I done anything hard this evening that you all can see? So everything I've done is pretty duplicatable. Wouldn't you agree with that? It's simple, it's easy. Now, if you wanna cook with oil and grease in the cooker, again, you can do that, but we're here to show you just a healthier alternative. And then this talks about the difference between Salad Master and cookware that you get in the store. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about that, but before I do, I wanna tell you, show you guys that this is our seven quart cooker. And the way I know it is a seven quart cooker is it states that right on the side of every pan. And that's pretty convenient if you're going by a recipe book and you don't know what size they are. I had a lady call me recently. She says, I need to buy one of those biggest pans, not the great big one, but the biggest one in the set. But the not the, I said, ma'am, just go in there and look at it. And it'll tell you right on the side. And she did. She said, oh, it's a three quart. So company puts the quart size right on the side of the pan. The lids are designed to fold right down in. And this is our little culinary basket, or it's a steamer, whichever route you want to go with it. This is a three quart. And what we do with this is you can defat hamburger meat. You can do like chili in the bottom, hot dogs in the top. You can do two or three vegetables in the bottom, two or three vegetables in the top. But in cooking schools, we show people how they can defat their meats, how they can take away out the bad and feed their family the good. We'll put about two and a half pound of hamburger meat in the the uh, culinary basket will put a little water in the bottom and then all that fat goes down in there and we'll use the meat for like spaghetti sauces and different things like that. We won't even pour that excess fat down our sink. Do y'all know why? Clog it up. We take it outside and pour it, believe it or not. So this is our lid. This will fit right here. So if you've got cookware in every cabinet and it's coming out on you when you open the door, 
Salad Master just allows everything to stack in about two and a half foot of space. This is a nine inch skillet, or it's a two quart cooker, or it's a nine inch cake pan. You can bake, you can cook, you can do anything you want in it. This is a one quart saucepan. And then again, just gonna stack it right up there. How cool is that? So now you've got your lids at all times. Matter of fact, if you've got one of those fancy chef's rack, you can put your lid in it and just hang it up. So you've got your lid handy and you're not having to get down on your knees and crawl back in the cabinet and try to find a lid to fit the pan that you're currently going to use, right? So anyways, I'm just going to leave that one out because we're going to show you something about that. I'm going to move these aside. And the next thing I'm going to show you guys is our hostess program. How many of you guys love free things? Free? Awesome. So I'm going to show you guys what we do. For instance, April and Jesse's having this dinner party tonight. Of course, they're going to get some free gifts out of it. I'm going to show you some choices that they have that we're offering to them. And we're going to offer you guys the very same thing. The first thing that I'm going to show you all, this is what we call a griddle. You can do your bacon, your eggs, your sausage. My husband here is huge at doing breakfast. I mean, he fixes breakfast three, four times a week. And our daughter, she likes egg whites. So he'll put three egg whites on here. He'll do three eggs for himself. He'll do a pancake for me. And he'll even take two or three pieces of ham and roll it up just so that it'll get nice and warm. Put that lid on there and it'll cook that ham real quickly and you've got a complete breakfast on one pan. So this is part of the Hostess Rewards Program. We give this item away. You can't buy it, we don't sell it. You can only get it for free. You can do steak in about six minutes if you wanted to do steak. How many of you love steak? Yeah. Any of you been going out and doing it on the grill and sweating it out out there and you're soaking wet by the time you come in? And then in the winter months, you freeze to death while you're outside doing steak? Well, you can do steak right in the right in your kitchen in six minutes. I mean, it's simple, it's easy. I mean, even the kids can do that if they wanted to. It's great for doing cobblers. It's great for pineapple upside down cakes. Any desserts, anything that you would ever want to fix on it. Matter of fact, our electric skillet lid that you see right here will also fit it. Uh, and normally I don't take that lid off, but it'll fit it. And then the, um, the Banco valve lid that comes with our electric skillet, which we have two lids, our electric skillet's a five piece set. So you've now got two lids that fits that pan. We give it away again, absolutely free. So I'm gonna pass this around. I want you all to take a look at it, feel the quality in it. And it's just a piece that would last you a lifetime. I mean, that one piece would outlast everything you've got in your kitchen for a lifetime. Another item we give away is this uh, beautiful Salad Master Machine. How many of you all were really impressed with this world famous Salad Master Machine? How many of you could use one of these if you had it for free? Mm -hmm. Well, again, we give it away just through hosting a party. It's part of our party plan. Just a matter of fact, if a couple of you all book a party, April and Jesse's gonna get this as an additional gift just through their party plan tonight. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. So again, we don't sell it. It comes in a beautiful box, and if you didn't think you'd use it, it would make a great Mother's Day gift. It'd make a great birthday gift, a great Christmas gift. This is an item you can't go to the store and buy. So whoever is in your family that loves cooking would really appreciate this. Another item that we give away, how many of you all feel like you're overworked, you're underpaid, and you need a vacation? All right, well, I'm going to tell you how you can get a nice free vacation. It's got places on here like um, Daytona Beach. How many of you'd love to go to the beach? How about Myrtle Beach, Hilton Head, South Carolina? If you've got more money, Bob, than you know what to do with, it's got Las Vegas on there. Yeah, you can go out and see the Hoover Dam. How about that? So, <laughs> anyhow, it's absolutely free, three days, two nights. It pays for your hotel. Now, if you decide you want to stay a little bit longer, Tina, you can. You can upgrade. It's going to cost you money to upgrade. But if you just go for three days and two nights, you get this absolutely free. Now, on the back of it, it does tell you since you get it for free, you do have to pay hotel sales tax. That's about 15 bucks. 
basically depending on what area you go to. So um, if you have any questions about that, I'll be happy to share some information. I've got lots of customers that take these. We give them away quite often. And I mean, if you're planning a vacation in the world's most popular destination in the world, y'all know where that would be? Yeah. London, Kentucky. Gatlinburg, Tennessee <laughs> is right there. How many of you have already been? Oh, everybody here, how about that? So how many of you go two or three times a year? Oh, the majority of you, okay. Well, then your next trip could be for free. How about that? So three days, two nights, absolutely free. It's got Myrtle Beach, Daytona Beach, Hilton Head, South Carolina, Niagara Falls, Mazalon, Mexico, Cancun, Mexico, Port of Orlando. It's got all kinds of different places. You get to choose one destination and you've got one full year to take it. I mean, it's a pretty cool little gift, don't you think? To be able to have a free vacation. I know people, they save their money all year long just to take a week's vacation. I mean, and you probably do too, right? How many of you go to the supermarket? Oh, everybody does. How cool is that? So how many of you would love $1,000 in supermarket coupons? Oh, okay. Any of you ever clipped a coupon out of the flyer that comes through the mail or a newspaper? Any of you extreme couponers? Well, this is $1,000. It's a certificate for supermarket coupons. I just had a little guy the other night in a cooking school. He got his coupons in. He sent them out. He said, I've already saved $15 off my first grocery trip. I thought, how cool is that? So basically what it entails is you circle 56 brand names in this little book that is sent to you. And once you circle 56 brand names, it's got like Duncan Hines, Pillsbury, all the popular brand names that you would find at the grocery store. It's got breads and cereals and all that, sodas, everything. Once you send this back in, then they send you your first grouping of coupons. And I mean, to save $15 off your first trip, that's pretty good money, wouldn't you agree? So we give those absolutely free just for hosting a party, getting some of your friends to come over to eat with us. All they gotta do is come eat, bring their spouse. They don't have to buy nothing. They don't have to bring any money. It's not based on sales. It's just based on getting some couples to come and eat with you. Now, of course, widows, singles, divorced seats, anybody can come, the more the merrier. But the company does like for us to cook it for at least three married working couples per dinner party with all the extra ones that you would want to invite. So another item that our company gives away, it's our beautiful tray. And you know, holidays is just around the corner and most of you are probably gonna do a turkey, right? A ham, right? This is a must for holiday turkeys and hams and just uh, anything that you would want to put out in there. Um, it's beautiful to put homemade candy in it if you wanted to. I tell you, this is one of the things that we use most in our cooking schools for serving. The first thing we'll do if we need something to put food on is we'll grab that platter. It's, I mean, it's a great little gift that we give away. I'm going to pass it around, let you guys just take a look at it. And of course, you can get it free for hosting a party. Now, if you see three or four different things you want, you think, boy, I'd like to have a part, several parties that get several items. The more couples you have on your parties, the more free gifts that is added to it. So if you have five couples, you get three free gifts. How cool is that? That's about $850 in free gifts just for hosting a party that takes around two and a half to three hours per dinner party for three to five couples. So that's a free gift. Another thing that we offer is our world famous kitchen shears. These are made of 316 stainless steel. They come apart for easy cleaning. And for instance, if you were from um, Pierre, uh, Illinois, you can street fight with them if you go that direction, <laughs> especially late at night, right? I got you. <laughs> but anyhow, they're great little pair of scissors for cutting through fat, cutting through the bones, just anything that you would want to cut up uh, food for. I mean, you could cut out cookies. You can just trim the fat off of your steaks and things if you wanted to. I'm gonna pass these around, let you guys take a look at them. Again, they come apart for easy cleaning. And I, I actually, I did a party recently over in the country where we live. And uh, I was way up in a holler actually. And I was showing these scissors and I was telling this guy, I said, these come apart for easy cleaning and you can street fight with them. Uh, if you're from Manchester, Kentucky, and he said, ma'am, he said, you ain't been here in a long time, have you? 
I said, no, why? He said, well, we use guns now. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm just going to pass those around let you guys take a look at them. So that's our kitchen cheers. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to show you all um, a set of cookware that we bring along. I'm going to move a few things out of my way here. And you all may or may not have some of these pieces. If you do, just holler you do. If you don't, no big deal. But how many of you guys have ever seen cookware that looks similar to, holy cow, my arteries, it's falling apart. How many of you have ever seen cookware that looks similar to this right here? Yes? Yep. So pretty much everybody's got one of these in their cabinet right now. And basically, you, what, what happens when this stuff comes off of it? Just run your hand across through there, just, What's that feel like to you? Sandpaper. So, sandpaper. So do you think that that pretty much is all going to come off eventually? Probably, Probably so. And once it does, where's it going to go, Tammy? Well, eat You're going to eat it. Does that seem to be pretty healthy? To eat cookware? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Anyhow, this is just aluminum, right? Any of you know what aluminum hubcap or alum <laughs> a hubcap's made from? Aluminum. So see with this, all they do is they put a pretty little fancy handle on there. They paint it a pretty color on the outside and they put some name on it. I mean, Loretta could put her name on one. I could put my name on one. JJ could put his name on one. And then they make them different colors again. Any of you ever seen this one? Yep. Y'all know what it's made from? Aluminum. And it's got teflon in, in there. So, just and look at this. We call this one the rock and roll pan because it sits on your stove and it rocks and rolls and it burns your stove eyes out. Costs you about $35 to get a new stove eye. Any of you ever seen cookware like that one? And this one is one of the high dollar ones. Sometimes people think the more they pay for this teflon stuff, the better it's gonna last them because it normally don't last at all. Matter of fact, we have never seen a pan that that will stay in. It's made to come out, and what that does is it promotes residual sales for that, you know, cookware company. So this one is just a high-end one, and if I passed it around, you all would probably know the name of it. I think they told me, the lady that gave me this, she said it's $135, and I actually looked it up. Nowadays, this is over $200 to buy, and I've had it for a good long time. Now, let me ask you guys this. Do you think we could fry chicken in there with no oil or grease? Do you think that we could cook some corn, broccoli, and carrots in there with no oil or grease? And we probably couldn't bake a pan in there unless we stuck it in the oven, right? And then we've got these. Any of you familiar with these? I think at one time they were blue. And then I think they come out with green. Now they're copper. The paint color is copper. And all it is is aluminum. And aluminum's been linked to what? Have y'all heard anything? I've heard that too. I mean, I'm no doctor and I can't confirm that, but I've heard a lot of people say it. I mean, we used to refer to it back in the day as old timers disease. Y'all ever heard it called old timers disease? So, of course, aluminum is definitely not one of the best things that you could cook and eat out of. And then we've got a few pieces here that I'd like to show you guys. Any of you know what all three of these right here have in common? They're stainless steel. Get them down at your local Walmart, Kmart, Dollar General store for stuff like this. Walmart's famous for the whole set, $89.95. And then, of course, it's got the copper bottom. Any of you got this one? Oh, you do? Great. And so, basically, we're going to do a little test on this since you've got it. Any of you got any of these right here? Probably so. We'll just pull one of these out. We'll stick that over here. We're going to do a test on that one. And then if this is just your real thin. Do you see what happens to these real thin ones? Can you see that? It bubbles up. Got to use water, oil, and grease to cook in it. And they're famous for what? Sticking. The number one, the number one is all they stick. Stainless steel sticks. Well, our stainless steel, we show you how to use it without all of that sticking and going on. 
And this just basically shows you the layout. Any of you got glass cookware? Glass cookware, you gotta cook with water, oil, grease. I mean, anything you get out of the store, it's gonna be glass or it's gonna be aluminum, it's gonna be Teflon. Or we have people that have the misconception, they say the heavier the pan, the better it cooks. Well, that's the farthest from the truth because we all know the heaviest pan that you can get would be this right here. Would you guys agree? Yep. So this, any of you got this one? Oh, everybody, how about that? So let me ask you all this. When you go to fry your chicken, can you fry chicken in here without oil and grease? Probably not. So it kind of goes hand in hand. I've always said every time you buy one of these at the store, they should give you a lifetime supply of grease to go with it because you gotta have it to be able to use it. So anyhow, we're just gonna take and do a little test and I'm gonna pass you guys out some spoons. We're gonna do a little taste test on just an aluminum Teflon pan. Now all of this is aluminum and Teflon and it don't matter the color at all. It don't matter the brand name. It all does the same thing. So I'm not going, going to have you all to do all of that. I'm going to show you one on this one right here. It's just a real thin. Y'all got this, right? And some of you got the one with the copper bottom. Y'all got this one too. Well, I don't want to do all three of them because they all do the same. How many of you got this one? And how many of you got this one? Oh, cool. So basically this one is just a heavier pan. It's got aluminum in there. And when we do a taste test on it, you're just gonna taste a little bit of aluminum or a metallic. It'd be more metallic. It's an 18 and 8 stainless steel. You can get it down at Penny's Belts, those upscale cookware stores. 18 and 8 is found at the dollar store. It's found at Walmart. It's found at your Penny's, all the upscale stores. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these over here on the stove top. We've got water in them. We're gonna bring them to the foil. And we're going to come around and give you a little drop of water in our pan in each one of those. How's that sound? And let you all be the judge for yourself. And then, of course, we're going to use this. How many of you again got that? Oh, everybody. And then we're going to show you one more. How many of you have ever seen one of these right here? Oh, yeah. Got that one. Y'all know what that's made from? Aluminum. Aluminum. We call that granny's pan. And that's just basically an old-fashioned aluminum pan. You can still buy these in the store if you wanted to. So um, then we've got our stainless steel pan. We're gonna gather that out. We're gonna put a little bit of water in each one of these. And what I'm about to show you guys, you guys can do this at home. Matter of fact, when you go home tonight, I want you to do this. Get your cookware out. Use just a cast iron skillet. Use your favorite aluminum pan. And then, of course, use a stainless steel pan. And we're going to put a little bit of water in each one of them. And I've got three little jars of water sitting right here. And then I've got three steel wool balls. Now, I picked these things up here at the Dollar General store. Three, four, I think maybe a dollar or two dollars. I don't know. But you get three in the pack. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of water in each one of them. And then I'm going to pour the water back out just to show you that I don't have anything in it. And we're going to put a little bit of water in this one right here. And my time keeper, he went, he left. I don't know where he went. Right here. Oh, I see. Water. He's back there. Okay. So anyhow, now, is it Bill? No, it's Daryl. Daryl, I'm going to drop this in one, two, or three. You tell me. Three. Number three, one or two, two, two. One. one. And then I'm just gonna pour the water right back out just to show you there's nothing in it. That looked pretty clear, Daryl. Yep. I'm gonna put the water in this one too. Show you I don't have anything in there. And then the water in this one as well. So all of those look pretty nice and clean. Won't you agree? Yep. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm gonna get my timekeeper that's back there. Just to give me about, I'll do uh, the Sally Master Pan first. About 30 seconds. Would you do that for me? Yeah. Go. So with Sally Master, it's 316 stainless steel. Now, how many of you guys have ever had surgery? Yeah. Do you know anybody that's ever had uh, rods or stents, metal put in their body? 
Well, let me ask y'all this. When they put metal in your body, like rods, do they put cast iron rods? They don't do that. Do you think they put aluminum rods? They only use 316 stainless steel. Any of you ever had surgery? Again, if they cut you with a scalpel that's made of 316 stainless steel. They don't make scalpels out of aluminum. They don't make scalpels out of cast iron. So this is highly noted in the medical field. Now, I'm gonna ask for just 15 on this one. All right, go. Now, do you all hear the sound of this? Yeah, what's that sound like? Yeah, it's just a real soft metal and basically aluminum. They say it's been linked to what, Loretta? Alzheimer's disease. And what else? Anybody else know? Ulcers. Any of you ever heard about Lou Gehrig's disease, cancer of the colon, or anything like that? That's what another lady was telling me just last night on a dinner party. So we've got that one. We've only cleaned for maybe 15 to 17 seconds. Now, how many of you got this that you use it on a regular basis? Everybody. And of course, what's some of the things that you do in it? Cornbread. Corn, number one thing is cornbread. What's another one? Chicken. Another one? Taters. Do y'all ever do seafood in here? Any of you ever done fish? Salmon patties. Salmon patties. I love that one. So give me 15. Go. Now, not much bad you can say about Granny's Iron Skillet, right? Makes good brown gravy. Good brown taters. Good brown cornbread. Everything's good and brown. That comes out of it. You guys agree with that? <laughs> All right. Good. Oh, but I'll just wait there. Is. Anyhow, just show you guys. This is the one that we clean twice longer. Daryl, if you had been out mowing the grass and you come in and you were just dying of thirst and that was sitting in your refrigerator, would you drink it? Sure. Probably would, right? And then, of course, this is your aluminum pan. Daryl, if you were out mowing the grass and come in thirsty and that was in your refrigerator, would you drink it? I don't think so. Probably not. So let me ask you this, Daryl. If you needed water to go in your car, would you put it in your car? No. We got people shaking their head no. Wouldn't put it in your car, would you? How come? It's dirty. It's dirty. All right, so we're just gonna set that right there. And then, y'all know what color this one's gonna be? Brown. <laughs> Crystal clear. Orange. Orange. So let me ask you this, Tini. Would you take a million dollars for one of your eyes to be blinded the rest of your life? Right. Yeah. You wouldn't, would you? Would you take a million dollars, Jesse, for one, just a finger? Just a finger. You wouldn't. Now, Tiny or um, Daryl wouldn't put this in a $60,000 car, right? Right. And you wouldn't take a million dollars for your body, right? And people cook for their family the most precious thing in the world to them and feed them. They won't put this in their car. A $60,000 car. But people put it in a million dollar body every single day. Now let me ask you this. You know anybody that they eat and they say, boy, that food's good, but my belly's hurting and they take for old legs, Maylox, Mylena, Tones, Tigman, Vantac, Accent, Pepsi. You know any of those? Think that's got anything to do with it? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Now, if I had an ulcer, or if you had an ulcer in your stomach, and you poured that in on that sore, all an ulcer is is a sore, every day, would that get well? Probably not. If I cut my finger, and every day I stuck my finger down in that dirty water, would it get well? Probably not, would it? So, I'm just going to show you one more thing here. Um, this is just wiping them out. 
Now, you know, Jesse and April, they got a beautiful home and it's so nice and clean. And I've been, I've had these shoes on all day long. I've been in and out everywhere. And this is the bottom of my shoe. But let me ask you this, April, y'all got children, right? If you took them to Walmart and they dropped food in the floor, would you let them eat it? No. You wouldn't let them pick it up and eat it? No. Okay. This is my shoe. So Walmart's floor is probably pretty dirty, right? Mm -hmm. This is our salad master pan. Just a swipe. Lay that right there. Does that look nice and clean? Mm -hmm. This is the aluminum pan. Just a swipe. Does this look pretty nice and clean? Huh? And then this is your cast iron skillet. Just, just a little hit. Does that look nice and clean? Now, April and Jesse here, they wouldn't want their kids eating off of the floor at Walmart or probably anywhere, would you? Mm -hmm. So what's the cleanest? The bottom of my shoe or the aluminum pan, or the cast iron skillet. People feed their families every day out there. Don't make a lot of sense, does it? Every day. So, anyhow, we've got the food ready. I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna gather these up, and I'm gonna take these right over here to my table, because I'm gonna set up an appointment with you guys here in just a second. And so this is the food that we have done for you guys. I want you to just look at how beautiful this food is. Check this out. You always lift the lid away from your face. Always away. How pretty. Look how beautiful those carrots are. Look how beautiful those corn and broccoli are. See, if you go to a hot bar, y'all ever go to them big old buffet hot bars? And you dip them vegetables out? They've been laying in water. Your corn will have gray tips on the end. That means it's lost all the flavor, the vitamins, the minerals, the nutritional value that's in it. It's laying in that water. And if the water don't get it, the light that runs up and down that hot bar to light it up, that light penetrates in there to get it. Don't that make a lot of sense to you? So we're just gonna set that aside. And of course that onion on there, April, and Roger is going to be the onion taster. If you uh, taste that, I want you to tell everybody. Well, I sure will. Yeah. This is our electric skillet, and we're just going to serve buffet style. Check this out. You always take the lid away from your face to let all that steam go that direction. How beautiful is that cake? We're just going to take, we're going to flip it over here on our uh, lid, on our plate. How pretty is that cake? I mean, seriously, that's a half a box of cake. No oil, no grease. Now, y'all got kids. What you do is you put your veggies in your cake if you can't get the kids to eat veggies. That way they're eating it and they don't really realize. And then we're just gonna take our knife, lift this out, and look at that food. No oil. No grease. 316 stainless steel. The cleanest, healthiest way you could ever eat in your life and feed your food. So what we're going to do is go over to the sink. I want you guys to watch me, okay? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to flip it. And then, this is what the pan looks like. We can clean. Now, of course, you see the steam rolling off and it's hot. We can clean that pan up in about 15 seconds. We're gonna set it in the sink. We're gonna run water in it. And now you've got a whole plate of chicken and potatoes. If you wanted to do popcorn in here, you could do that. And when it's ball game time, just flip your popcorn out. Now you got a serving platter. So a serving platter that goes right along with it. So we'll serve buffet style right over here. And then, that is all I think that I've got. 